All right, Puka, how's fall camp going, man? Pretty good. Staying busy, staying healthy. It's fun to get out here. Finally got some pads on. You go get a little contact, show everybody how big you are, how the, how the summer workouts were going and stuff, but it's been good. It's been fun to watch the physicality before you even had all the pads on. <laughs> you guys are like itching to hit, it looked like. Is Literally, that right? Yeah, it's like the, the first days of fall camp, everybody's like, oh, you're so excited. There's so much energy. Everybody can't wait to get out there. The freshmen finally get to be a part of the team and start playing football. So it's like the best and like the worst feeling. All built up anger, tension, like emotions, the eagerness to play. It all comes out at once. And uh, 125 dudes just waiting to run into each other sounds like a disaster, honestly. <laughs> It is sometimes, right? It's crazy. Um, talk to me about this fall camp, coming in healthy for the first time in your college career and kind of what difference that's made. Uh, it's been so fun to, like, be active, a part of the stuff, and, like, to come into meetings and, like, not be stuck, like, in, in the training room doing rehab and stuff like that, to be a part of all the events, getting all the reps in, um, and just to be fully engaged um, in the game of football and then be fully engaged with my teammates. There's a tendency when you have injuries and stuff, it's like, I want to isolate myself. It's me going through this. It's not, uh, none of my teammates are going through this, but uh, it's been nice to be a part of that and then just to kind of see some of the teammates who might have been going through injuries or something that I've been similar and then be able to reach out to them and be like, hey, everybody's kind of had that injury phase or something that is kind of holding you back, but it's, it's time for football. We got, we got four weeks of football and you got to enjoy it while it's here. Last year it was on the DL that you had a hamstring. You didn't <laughs> play in the Arizona game. How quickly did it take you to get fully healthy in the season? Um, <laughs> kind of hard. I mean, you, you, you once season starts, it's kind of hard to say what healthy is. You know, you take you take your nicks and bruises during the season, but uh, I wouldn't say it was much longer after that. It was nice. So we we got our staff uh, was able to help me get right, and then once season starts, that's kind of another energy sometimes that gets you out of bed, and whether you're whether you're healthy or not. <laughs> <laughs> this year at BYU, you're having a second season. What kind of difference do you feel in terms of uh, comfortability with the quarterbacks, with the line, with the playbook, and so on? Um, like, ultimate comfort is they probably feel uncomfortable sometimes how uncomfortable I feel in the locker room. We, uh, these are my brothers. Like, I lost Samson, so these guys, are, they, they, are, they are taking place. 125 guys are taking the place of Samson for me. So my It takes that minute. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It probably would take more. <laughs> but uh, just a level of comfort that uh, we get to spend time outside of football in the locker room playing video games against each other. We play UFC. We play PGA. Like, I don't know if people play PGA on the Xbox, but we do that over here. But the <laughs> ping pong games we play, the shuffleboard, like, those are the uh, those are the things that help us uh, that builds the trust that I have in those guys when we're out there in the football field and I hope that's like the, the team camaraderie that we get to do and the stuff that we have uh, it, it helps out there on the football field more than the guys think for sure you led BYU in yards last year with 805 despite not playing the Arizona game and being a little hampered at the beginning is a thousand yards a fair goal for you is that a thing you've written down and thought about uh, definitely. I haven't put any numbers out there. Um, I'll do it for you. <laughs> a thousand yards. A thousand yards. Uh, that, uh, whatever is, whatever is asked me, I'm excited. I, I have big goals and aspirations uh, for this season. And I felt like, uh, last year was just, uh, uh, a, a, a preview of what I feel like I have in store. And I've been working on my game, trying to improve in the places that I feel like I wasn't there at. And then obviously to prepare myself for what the future goal is. So, uh, and, and that's to beat USF. <laughs> so I'm excited. So I'm ready for that one. I, I'll be ready. The, that was kind of uh, that was my first game. I broke 100 yards. So hopefully, uh, you know, maybe we'll see if we can break 200 this time. Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Hey, if 805 was a preview, I really like that trailer. I'm excited <laughs> for the movie. Um, being an Orem kid, going to Washington, coming back, being now a fourth year junior right at BYU, where you guys are expected to be pretty good this year. What's this experience like for you as a local kid playing for the Wino? Um, I think this year it's hit me more kind of than ever, even though there was the the love that me and Samson felt last year of coming back home and the season that we had last year was uh, one that will lives in my head daily, all the memories I have with Samson and then being on those guys, uh, on the field with him last year. But this year it's like, it's the perfect storybook ending. We're in, we're in far, far away and it's happy ever after now. Like uh, everything's coming together, the picture fits right, all the pieces are coming together and you can just, if everything going forward feels so good, it's like I, I'm not asking for anything to be perfect. It's already perfectly planned in front of me. So uh, I'm, I just, I'm so excited. <laughs> you and Samson always have a smile on your face. You've talked about this with me before of like, hey, li life's meant to be happy. I want to go back to your, your deep blue from last year. Super emotional about your dad and what he meant to you. And you talked about the greater plan that he had to have you and Samson, obviously Kai here at, at BYU and your other brother. Um, what's it like to know, hey, 
dad had this plan and here we are living this out um it's it's surreal sometimes and uh the blessing that um it's been to to be here in this moment now and to kind of see the the plan that he had um it feels good at, um but there's always that kind of the thought of i i wish he obviously he was here to see the the plan that he had envisioned so long ago kind of come together and it's it's odd how the things that he would have mentioned uh, i've seen happen in front of my eyes and in my life and i've been the the benefits of uh, the things that he had planned out there, but and then just a blessing to be uh, with my family, like the journey that we've been through. My mom, um, she, she's not, she's done it all. Uh, she wasn't she wasn't she didn't know what to do, but she got us here, and uh, it's all been part of a surreal plan. But extremely extremely blessed to be where I am. But uh, Dad, you 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 planned it right for sure.